welcome everyone so today we are going to discuss uh, one gs3 pyq which appeared in civil service in may 2022 it was question 2 on inclusive growth the purpose of the, this session is not only to share with them you know model answer but we also go into the process let's say uh, inclusive growth is there right you know uh, it's a very important topic either you can find an essay on inclusive growth uh, related in gs3 or maybe in gs2 so how to approach this topic what kind of notes you should have and what kind of answer uh, you will write and uh, the model answer which we are sharing uh, this is a similar kind of answer you will get you know find in our tucker test series tucker test series as you know is an year long test series offered by lukman ias and uh, it is our opinion or uh, and we should say it is our suggestion that uh, you must write test that's a very very important part of your uh, preparation and we want to assure you tucker test will provide you that environment intellectual environment okay so let's see the question first this other question question 2 it 2000 is inclusive growth possible under market economy okay uh, so you know understand uh, the due to market economy especially due, uh, since for the lpg era since 1991 uh, there is a problems you know in growth is not inclusive uh, the in fact the uh, works of professor angus ditton who got nobel prize uh, while working mainly on the poverty of india uh, even uh, professor abhijit banerji and uh, professor asr uh, deflo and uh, they are uh, you know <laughs> they, they have written work, you know they have devoted their life uh, on the on this cause uh, poverty in india right uh, you are, and the second part of the question is state the significance of financial inclusion in achieving economic growth you have to be cautious here the keyword here it is they are not asking uh, 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 inclusive growth so state the significance of financial inclusion in achieving economic growth right and how the answer would come see uh, i can show you the model answer i can you know uh, everything but there is a process involved uh, here what is the take away just try to see uh, what kind of a statement we are writing uh, it is uh, what kind of thoughts we are writing we understand this is uh, more than the prescribed length of 250 words 250 150 words but this you might you have to arrange your thoughts like this now let's say somebody is ask uh, what kind of uh, when you study about inclusive growth what kind of uh, documents you can study one very important document is economic survey right you find uh, any chapter in uh, ncert the economic survey and uh, this report is also very important sustainable development growth okay what i will do i will show you that report here uh, perhaps uh, that will just uh, it is a you know invest your time in this report sustainable development goals report 2022 it's see the progress and uh, this is, try to read original work when you will read it uh, 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 you will put these points in your uh, notes. Naturally, your thought process and your uh, quality of notes will improve, and that is what uh, is very, very, very important. So, I'm assuming uh, you will go through the, these notes. Uh, Initially, at, at the beginning, they have given mainly just a minute. They have they have given mainly figures. Let's say this is of goal twelve. Uh, before we go go into goal twelve. let us see something about okay equality is a very important part of inclusive growth right so let us see sdg 5 gender equality what what this report has to say achieving gender equality and empower all women and girls okay it would take another 40 years for women and men to be represented equally in national political leadership at the current pace see the 40 years gap so these facts these are not facts you know uh, okay this kind of a fact but when you read many facts uh, you develop ideas so, uh, so okay see this uh, you know very uh, more than one in four women 15 have been subject to in, intimate partner violence okay see these are the uh, um, uh, women accounted for only 39% but 45% of global losses in 2019 so during pandemic you know so you can see women suffered more gender responsive budgeting needs to be so this is a keyword gender responsive budgeting this should come here on answer writing style okay then only 50 to 57% of women are 15 to 49 years 
are making their own informed decisions on sexual reproductive health care. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you know, right to life and abortion, you know, uh, the right to abortion, that, that is related to this, uh, this thing. Okay, and after that, uh, this is very, very important report. Uh, it will help you in GS2, GS3. After that, try to read uh, uh, these, uh, this, if you mix, you know, this, these thoughts with economic survey and SDR reports, uh, human development reports, uh, you, you are going to write wonderful answer. Uh, <laughs> no doubt about that. So, after, let's say, on every goal, let's say uh, goal number one on poverty, they have talked, uh, you know, they are talking about, okay, what, what we did in 2020 on uh, no poverty goal, right? Are we making progress or not? Right. Uh, now the Ukraine crisis. Uh, so, so what happened during COVID and uh, Ukraine crisis? They are de derailing the progress on ending extreme poverty. See, when, when you are talking about the poverty, uh, it is, uh, you know, let's say uh, you are writing this exam. One day you are going to be a you know, wonderful administrator. You cannot let go the work of Professor uh, Jeffrey Schatz, Professor Amartya Sen, right? Capability approach. See, just saying capability approach, no, 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 that will not help. You have to go into their papers, their books, but uh, we understand that during UPSC preparation it is not possible. But when you read those books, uh, uh, works of Professor Angus Ditton, okay, so then you understand, okay. <laughs> then, uh, so once you go into those works, you will find even these uh, reports uh, <laughs> very light, okay. So, given this background, let us move to our model answer. See why I have shown you all these things. This is the process involved in writing this model answer. Uh, and this uh, this process, this reading, this documents uh, has many years of background. Okay, so uh, it, it will take <laughs> some time. But let's see. Is inclusive growth possible under market economy? Now, how you can define inclusive growth? Now, this uh, this definition, is, this is the way OECD, uh, you know, OECD defines inclusive growth. Now, I have taken it verbatim. Now, it is not copying paste. So, it is not copying paste. See, what happens? When you take a definition, you put it in a note, you revise it seven, eight times, it becomes part of your vocabulary. So, this I am sure this is going to happen with you as well. So, inclusive growth is economic growth that is distributed fairly across society and creates opportunity for all. Right? So, what is the keyword? Distributed fairly across society and creates opportunity. Opportunity is very, very important. So, now see the second thought. The second thought I took from the, you know, uh, the world uh, world uh, summit on uh, poverty happened in 1995 in Copenhagen. Very very important summit, right? Uh, Copenhagen summit. In fact, uh, UPSC has asked a question uh, in prelims on this. Okay, uh, Copenhagen summit, right? 1995. Okay. So what what they say? What they mentioned that inclusive growth is characterized by a creative commitment. See, this, this word, you know, using the words like creative commitment, it should, see, the processor will, see, when somebody says there is not much variability in the GS marks, we, we agree. But when you we use such kind of vocabulary, processor realizes, okay, now this aspirant is moving towards, you know, uh, what a good administrator should be. That, that kind of uh, writing style. Creative commitment to pro, pro poor social and economic system and gender equality. Both things are important. Okay. Then, uh, although this statement was not required, but uh, uh, I just wrote it. Equality is so important a feature of the inclusive growth that it has been mentioned twice in, twice in SDG. Uh, you know, if you see SDG, there are 17 goals, you know. So, SDG 5 is on gender equality, just, just now we saw. And SDG 10, reducing inequalities. So, this in, in, reducing inequality is very, very important. In fact, if I can share one uh, parallel thought. If you, if you have read uh, 2018 or 19 economic survey, so they, 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 they talk about, uh, they mentioned there uh, uh, something about Professor Feldstein. Professor Feldstein, okay, I am not sure I am pronouncing well, but he, he, his work are, you know, he did, you know, very phenomenal work on poverty. And there are two things, whether the poverty is relative or it is absolute. Let's say now we will go into deep water, but again, uh, let's say you say you are interested only in uh, measuring absolute uh, poverty, then the measurement of poverty is not seen as measurement of inequality. Okay, but if you are interested in measuring relative poverty, 
then the measurement of poverty is same as the measurement of inequality. Important point, you know, just I am repeating again, if you are interested in only measuring absolute poverty, then the measurement of poverty is not same as measurement of inequality. But if you are interested in measuring relative poverty, let's say we understand 800 million people, uh, maybe, you know, now around, yes, still not 800, maybe 750 million people are still living in the abject poverty, right? Now, what people say that first, uh, world, this is worldwide data. So, first take them out of the that uh, abject poverty and do not worry about uh, what the, you know, uh, those billionaires are getting, no. You know, you must focus on this. Then uh, this becomes a measure of, you know, you just have to worry about the absolute poverty. Let's say, uh, and let's say after uh, 10 years from now, there are only, let's say maybe uh, it might happen, only 100 million people are living in abject poverty. Somebody might ask why after, you know, say 10, 15, because see, it is very, very difficult to reach the last person. So it, it is never going to happen that uh, if I, my, as far as my understanding of economics and, you know, world is, uh, this, uh, in, world will never reach this target. It is very, very impossible to reach the last person. Okay. So this situation is there. 100 million people are there and everybody is fine. Then the human will think, okay, now we are fine, but what about the relative poverty? Right, somebody is owning so much, then the relative measurement of relative poverty and the inequality is going to be same, and that is why many economists, you know, what are, you know, capable economists, I would say, they emphasize two things: that not only the Gini coefficient, but poverty gap ratio. These two measures are important to measure poverty. Okay, so I I hope uh, uh, you will use uh, these thoughts somewhere. Now coming to the question. Uh, Suppose you are writing an examination, so you could have taken away this line, but uh, let's say you, are, you have to write in 150 words only this line, but these two first in lines are important. And how you are <laughs> starting your design? You are just uh, starting with an introduction, you know, defining economic growth. And see, remember, when you write an introduction, the main idea is uh, not to give dates or, you know, some uh, very glaring fact, no. Uh, those, those are the works of, you know, uh, not a very refined mind you have to write in very simple and clear words what the question demands. Okay, so simple definition. Let's say you do not, uh, you uh, do, if you, you know, you are not getting uh, something, you know, wonderful, so just simple write a definition. Then move into the question. Economic growth is possible under market economy if the market economy assures this. Here I have taken to write all these things, but in uh, mains you will write economic growth is possible if, right? If market economy, if, then you will directly show down. Now see the, See the, this first statement, first point, the invisible hand of market should combine with the hand of trust for ethical wealth creation. For instance, farmers, mainly small and marginal farmers should get their due in agriculture value chain as mentioned by the National Bank. So what is the problem with the market economy? <laughs> they, they are mainly worried about the invisible hand of market, right? Now, uh, now it's very easy to say, that, okay, uh, Adam Smith gave invisible hand of market, but okay, there is a lot of his research papers. And before, uh, you know, Wealth of Nation, he wrote a wonderful book, uh, uh, The Theory of Polit uh, Moral Sentiment. He, in fact, he was a philosopher first. Uh, Adam Smith was a philosopher first, then he became an economist. And uh, during that process, he talked about the invisible hand of market. And and if I can recall well, what, uh, what uh, example he gave, let's say, I, I, I'm a person, right? I'm a human being. Uh, uh, I know that uh, in, let's say, in some country, tomorrow 10,000 people are going to die. How much is going to affect me? Maybe, you know, uh, sorrowful for one minute, two minutes, no, not have been sorrow, right? Just maybe, you know, uh, it, it will just become like a fact. Okay. But tomorrow, let's say I know tomorrow I'm going to, you know, today I'm going to, lose, you know, lose my, you know, one just finger, it's small. I will not even sleep, uh, you know. Full, you know, I will remain awake. This is the example Adam Smith gave in that paper. And that is why he said, so your self-interest, the self-interest of every human being will enhance the total output of the economy. Uh, I'm not using the right word, but yes, the idea is uh, the same. So what we have to do, the, have the individual hand of market should combine with the hand of trust. Hand of trust means, uh, hand of trust, how to uh, say it? The Gandhiji Anto there. Okay. Trusteeship. Gandhiji's trusteeship concept, that is nothing, you know, you can say it is hand of trust. For ethical wealth creation, okay, you know, if the wealth creation is important, you must have, uh, uh, you know, once I defined the concept of parrot optimality, 
what is the pellet optimal tilt? See, there is a, uh, again, we will go in deep water, but again, you must know, let's say you have two choices. They have uh, three person, uh, their incomes are two, three, four rupees. And in the situ second situation, their income became, this is situation A, this is situation 2. Now the Pareto optimal people will choose situation 2. They will say, see everyone is better off. So first person got uh, uh, 3 rupees, 1 rupees extra. Second got, you know, more, um, uh, 27 rupees extra and uh, uh, third one. So everyone is better off. But in this case, what is the problem? Inequality. Can you see that? The, in, the, let's say this is called person 1. Person 1 is very, very, you know, having very uh, relatively uh, less well compared to uh, second and third person. But in the in this case, they were not so much equal. So this is the point. Whether you will care, care about uh, Pareto optimality or you will care about equality, equity. Uh, in fact, I must say equity. Okay. So that is the situation. Now, given this background, so, and uh, this thing you understand, right? Uh, see, when you are writing, okay, uh, so when, so let's say you are writing a farmer, when you emphasize that small and marginal farmer, then it makes sense, you know, it will send a message to examiner. He, within farmer, they are a small and marginal farmer, you are, and you are starting your answer with, you know, caring about farmers, you could have started your answer with, you know, with farmers or vulnerable section or, you know, poor, but uh, do not start, you know, some well to do. <laughs> Uh, it is okay, you know, start with woman or farmer and then you are showing, you know, your uh, level of preparation by mentioning that uh, national farmer policy has also mentioned this. Do not write a loose statement. If you have read national farmer policy, then only write it. Otherwise, you know, uh, they are going to <laughs> catch you. Market economy through ethics in business, not only business ethics and CSR facilitate the achievement of uh, SDG 1 and SDG 2. Now market economy, see, they can also help. Uh, 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 you know, achieving goals and no poverty and zero hunger. How? Now, I have emphasized here ethics in business, not business ethics. When you report, read many you know reports of uh, OECD, you know UNDP reports, this point has been mentioned many many times. They also write like this: that India and the world needs not only business ethics but also ethics in business. Ethics in business is a higher concept. Okay, and uh, through corporate social responsibility, facilitating this way. Okay. Now, you uh, you mentioned uh, the world objects, the elimination of uh, India's elimination of poverty, sine qua non, to uh, ending global poverty. See, <laughs> the world cannot achieve SDGs by 2030 if India and the mainly South African, oh, sorry, uh, yes, uh, African, you know, not only South, but also East, West, uh, Western, South African country do not achieve their goals. So, very, very important. If, if market economy would see, try to uh, uh, I would say uh, not imitate, but try to inculcate such writing style. Such writing style is also mentioned in a GS3 question paper. So, if, if I can recall well, in 2017, there was a question affording in clean energy sine qua non to economic growth, something like that. You please see. If market economy would create systems to reduce poverty and equal inequality, then inclusive growth will assure it. Yes. Providing employment opportunity to vulnerable section. Within vulnerable section, you are talking about the women of lower caste. See, here I will say, do not use the word lower. See, uh, see, lower itself is a negative word. Try to use some uh, women of vulnerable caste, you write. Okay. So, uh, do not use the words like upper or lower. That throws a, you know, uh, something uh, uh, at, a, at a particular, you know, uh, uh, level. You, you must not, not use those words. Then, third point. The focus of health healthcare is increasing getting skewed towards the heads of our society. Now, if you recall well, this was also a statement of your essay. This was an essay uh, some years back. So, let, let's say you're writing essay, you, you're practice, then you practice UPSC essays. So, it, this statement will naturally come. Then you will say that the, without good health and well-being, the growth is not included. If the health is not there, how the growth will be? Ethical and professional par participation of market economy that is private hospital so in Aishman scheme to help India and the world achieve SDG4. See, you know, Aishman scheme, there is a you know, hospitalization, uh, secondary, secondary care thing. So, if the private player, you know, they are ethical, you know, in health, uh, India's uh, investment in uh, uh, health is approximately 5 to 6, I think 5.5% of GDP, or, uh, almost 50% uh, comes from the private sector and 50% from the public sector. So, the private sector participation is very, very important. But how, how 
they can assure inclusive growth when the doctors doctors hospital that uh, social system economic system they care for the the last person okay the last person is very very important okay and that's the way uh, you can achieve sdg4 now coming to now you're talking about the generating gainful employment now try to use uh, gainful word with the employment uh, that is <laughs> important mainly for rural and urban poor citizens observing the tenets of sdg8 sdg8 uh, you, you do not need to you know tell everything about sdg but you are sharing a message here with the examiner ki how they have to create uh, uh, gainful employment as the sdg8 uh, as sdg8 seeks for this the market economy must promote sustained inclusive and economic growth full and productive employment decent work for all market economy should generate gainful employment see now this is the point what is happening in india you know uh, uh, female labor force participation rate especially in urban area is very very low come although it it is been improving and uh, this year's economy survey mentioned uh, that women participation women's low labor force participation rate might be due to the deficiency in survey they mentioned a point what they said uh, i cannot recall exactly that article but they said something like this when when they take surveys so there is an article uh, any some question maybe some, let's call it uh, a11 if the if the you know uh, if the if a particular person says that i am i am helping in the household i am you know i am collecting woods so those persons are those women are not considered uh, they, they are not taking the part of labor force participation labor force okay so this is a problem let's say women is going to fetch water to collect woods uh, to working in health this is a work right in fact in ncert you must have that uh, time time surveys right time work uh, uh, time work survey i think uh, so you understand how, how much time uh, what kind of work you are doing so they also mentioned this let's say looking after children uh, helping in household chores that is a work but again that is, uh, people do not realize it that is a, that is a, that is a problem with the social attitude not with the uh, not with the work uh, in fact uh, a report came in uh, 2000 uh, i cannot recall i think it, it is sdr report uh, 2017-18 आप देख लीजिएगा व्हाट दे मेंशन दे आर सेइंग द वर्ल्ड इज मूविंग फ्रॉम जॉब टू वर्क सी जॉब इज डिफरेंट बट व्हेन यू फ्रॉम जॉब व्हेन यू मूव टू वर्क व्हेन यू टेक लेट्स से इंटरेस्ट इन योर वर्क रदर देन जॉब सी व्हेन यू सी लुक फॉर सी यू नो व्हेन यू थिंक ऑफ जॉब यू थिंक ऑफ यू नो मनी यू नो व्हाट टाइम टू गो व्हाट टाइम टू कम एंड ऑल दोस नो बट व्हेन यू थिंक ऑफ वर्क यू आर इन अ डिफरेंट स्टेट ऑफ माइंड सो दैट इज व्हाट दे हैव कैप्चर्ड okay now come to the next one poverty anywhere is a threat to prosperity everywhere this was again a, a say topic the prosperity of a few rich is also threatened it is little i understand this is little harsh statement but the prosperity of a few rich is also threatened if the abject and multi dimensional poverty exists among bottom 40% of population yes in india if you uh, you know the multi dimensional poverty is almost uh, 38 uh, approximately 40 and it is more than uh, uh the poverty which uh, ordinary poverty which we measure by different poverty lines you know from tendulkar to ykl to tendulkar to, you know sri rangarajan committee reports and uh, so observing the now, now see here you are bringing in another top point observing the principle of original position as stated by john dawes in the theory of justice is a way forward to now see if you if you know exactly what is original position if some sometime in your in political theory political theory book ncert they talks about john dolls so in social justice chapter they talk about <coughs> john dolls his wheel of ignorance original position and uh, this was this was also a question in gs4 i think 2016 or something uh, how what is the social justice concept of john dolls what this is what the original position concept is let's say you want to create economic economics and social system let's say i am born in a you know a, a very rich family so uh, i'm very lucky right if i'm born in a very poor family maybe sub saharan africa you know where or maybe kbk area of uh, india so big bit trouble so what jondal said to imagine yourself you know give up all your memories uh, uh, everything imagine yourself you do not know where you will be born so what kind of social system you would like to have then you will think okay then you immediately poverty will come in your mind 
कि ओके आई माइट बॉर्न इन यू नो दिस प्लेस रिच साउथ और मे बी वेरी लकी इन बॉस्टन यू एस ए सो यू विल से लेट एस क्रिएट ए सिस्टम दैट इवन इफ आई एम द लास्ट पर्सन लास्ट पर्सन यू नो लास्ट पर्सन मीन्स एट द वेरी बॉटम देन ऑल्सो आई शुड बी सेटिस्फाइड एंड दिस कंसेप्ट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मैक्सिम यू नो आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू इन पॉलिटी चौरी बट जॉन रॉल सोशल जस्टिस कंसेप्ट is very similar to maximin concept what is what do you maximin let's say you got a function and you have three values 10 15 and 70 so first you took you know there are the system you took the minimum value so uh, f- f- uh, let me write let me show you 5 8 10 6 9 10 11 14 15 these are three choices choice 1 choice 2 choice 3 i have to find it maximum what is in the choice 1 what is the my minimum value 11 okay in the choice 2 my, my minimum value 5 in the choice 3 what is my minimum value 6 so then i will take the maximum of that that is 11 that is what is john rawls concept is but yes a good for you know uh, those who are political theorists i would say maximin is a subset of john rawls concept it is not uh, exactly maximin is you know i will say is a subset and john rawls concept is much higher so that is what so if, uh, if if we observe the principle of original position as stated by john is a way forward to so if the if, if, if market economy will work uh, as per the principle of uh, original position stated by john rawls it will work. but again if you are very sure about your know, knowledge and then only use statements like this otherwise it is going to fall flat <laughs> significance of uh, second part significance of financial inclusion in achieving economic growth lack of financial uh, inclusion leads to economic and social exclusion yes and uh, see jam trinity brought in uh, financial inclusion right jam trinity the janthan account was there right then account opening then aadhar then mobile brought billions of india mainly from the bottom quantile see here is a problem actually i sh- uh, i should have written the Actually, the bottom quantile is still not in that. Uh, you know, the part which is missing from the jam trinity is still the bottom quantile. Some part of bottom quantile. So uh, you understand, you know, it might be second, uh, second quantile from the bottom, but bottom quantile uh, is still in problem into economic system. Hence, now they can accept the benefits of welfare scheme. So if you have, you have financial inclusion for people, they will have welfare schemes. They will get the subsidies, you know, food, and there will be economic growth. Okay, sustainable growth. digitization of now see this thing uh, you know santa kumar committee report you know restructuring of fci they said you know all the beneficiary has to be uh, digitized and uh, it is related to uh, it is now i think if not mistaken it is now a provision in national food security act 2013 as well i'm not very sure whether it is an obligation because uh, i'm not sure whether a law document national food security act can mandate uh, having aadhar but uh, more or less uh, santa kumar committee said this there is no doubt that there should be digitization of beneficiaries and uh, when they their digitization you know they have account they will automatically become the part of financial inclusion and they will have the food so you will reduce the exclusion and inclusion error fine second mandrega is not an employment scheme but also an important imperative <laughs> so l- let's say suppose you have read this report you know or not, not only this report or maybe some uh, some uh, report uh, see the point is why somebody will read uh, some See, you have you have to focus on PYQs. Let's say you focus on PYQ. You have uh, there is a question on energy. Uh, uh, let's say there was a question whether India will fulfill its 50 percent energy requirement by renewables uh, by uh, 2025, 2025 or 2030. Okay, uh, that is the question. So how you are going to approach it through newspaper, newspaper articles? Forget that. You have to read the report, good quality, economic survey, right? go to svg document go to reports like that that will help you once you have read it you have taken notes then the automatically you know answer like this will come out so if you find a statement like this then just jot it down so now you will say the benefits of mandrega would not have been reached to poor situation without their financial inclusion so the due to financial inclusion there is economic growth fine now financial inclusion is also an aspect of distributive justice distributive justice you know you know if there are resources you have to it has to be distributed equally and uh, not equally but as if justifiably and uh, it brings more uh, equality right uh, and that is the flow in pareto optimality distribution of subsidies is fair and equitable through financial inclusion 
However, the financial inclusion should not be limited to only opening of bank account. See here you are emphasizing that financial inclusion does not mean only uh, opening of bank account. There should be system, mainly uh, we would say democratic attitude, social system, pro poor, poor people system, pro women. Okay. For uh, sustainable economic growth, India needs pro poor financial inclusion. Now you are bringing in GST. Introduction of GST and various tax administrative reforms suggest how small and medium enterprises can be brought in the economy system. You know, uh, GST collection, if I'm not mistaken, in almost reached the 1.2 lakh, 1.2, 1.3 lakh crore per month. Okay. Uh, during pandemic, it was low, but uh, can, can you see? Uh, although you now it is rising, and why it is possible? Because many uh, small and economic enterprises now are the part of GST. Okay, here is a point. Uh, see, when the GST was introduced, there was a problem, right? Uh, uh, but again, those all those things have been now eased out. A small, uh, a small and medium enterprises they thought how we will connect with the GST ecosystem, but that has now been resolved. Success of okay now you can say the success of Troika. Troika knows three things: skill India, digital India, make in India stands on the financial inclusion of marginalized and deprived citizens. See, digital India, skill India will not see if you want to provide somebody to skill, right? The first skill is to have the bank account, right? Uh, know how to use a bank account, how to withdraw money, all those things are so similarly. Digital India, uh, uh, see, digital India is even a further aspect. Make in India, manufacturing. If you you know. Uh, if there has to be manufacturing, uh, some you know, you are you are bringing in uh, inputs, you are sending outputs, you are creating employment. How you you are going to transfer wages through financial inclusion? Okay. okay. See this point. The for policy makers, the lack of choice in opportunity is more relevant than the poverty of income. So this is a very important, you know, important statement. Uh, you know, one day you will be involved in writing policy reports. See. Administrative rights uh, policy reports like you know national form, formal policy you must have many policy reports education health policy and uh, some researcher write uh, very hardcore uh, quantitative papers let's say economists you know writing papers on game theory mechanism design like that and some researchers also like write uh, you know uh, policy documents and uh, let's say this this report sustainable development goal report. Okay, now this report uh, is written by economists as well as maybe some administrators of different countries. So you have to understand that you, uh, you can read the same goal even without quantitative techniques, right? So for policy maker, the lack of choices and opportunity is more relevant than the poverty of income. So uh, the systems are more important, right? You have to create the system to get people quality education, uh, good health. Financial exclusion is a lack of opportunity. During the pandemic, uh, you know, the pandemic year, it was only due to the financial inclusion that subsidies could reach the deprived citizen. India could maintain its economic march. Okay. Now, see, somebody asked uh, what we should write in conclusion, you know, uh, about whether in writing points, paragraphs. See, all these are secondary questions. But if you have content, you have very good content, your thoughts are very clear, you can write in a paragraph also. Okay. The processor will understand. Just write, you know, but again, it's all depend upon. Uh, <laughs> you basically not about whether writing in points or paragraph. It is about you know having that quality reading and the quality work. So let's say here. In conclusion, you can bring in some uh, ethical aspect. So mention can be made here the Atkinson measures. Atkinson measures are important, which are related to ethical uh, measure of inequality and economic growth. So what what Atkinson measure is? Let's say growth is there, the inequality is there. So uh, it is again like kind of a matrix. Okay, matrix giving weight to different parameters, right? And uh, whether then you realize whether the growth is an inequality, the ethical or not. And uh, Professor Atkinson has emphasized the role of financial inclusion, and he has emphasized the role of financial. Inclusion. Hence, financial inclusion. Of the remaining citizen is also more an imperative for India. Okay, but again, if you know, if you have read something about uh, carefully about Professor Atkinson, then only write. Otherwise, uh, you should not. Uh, you should write. You know something what you have read. So this is what uh, I have to say. Uh, please uh, take time visit uh, Tucker uh, Tassaris, and uh, we want to promise you your.
you will get a very very quality work yeah thank you very much Thank you.